me here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so happy to be guest designing once more for the May 2018 Love from Lizzie card kit. Card number one. So here I have the uh, white card base um, cardstock paper here and then I have the polka dot specialty paper and I put the measurements on the screen and I put them down kind of like Catawampus there and then I had the uh, leafy pattern paper um, opposite direction and then here I'm just buffing out some antique linen and gathered twigs around this tag. I did cut uh, the V at the end of the tag but it really didn't matter because the way I arranged my cutouts um, arrangement um, it hid that so it really didn't matter. So here I have the Distress Oxide uh, and Archival Ink colors that I use to blend um, these images that I stamped down. And I am using this brush, this Distress brush from Tim Holtz. And then I am grabbing a little bit of different colors and starting with one color towards the bottom and then using another color and buffing that in the middle and then to finish it off using another color. So I'm trying to kind of create an ombre effect on each of these images. Now I won't show you every single image, I just wanted to show you the technique that I use to color these images that I stamped down. So I did use different archival inks so that the ink wouldn't smudge when I would blend and those colors are going to be in the throughout the video so every color that I use in this video will be mentioned um, and I pretty much stay with the same colors so you'll see them um, throughout this video in different cards. So this is um, how it looked and then I cut that out. So here I am using for the uh, toucan I'm using the black pearlized specialty paper that came in the April card kit and I ran some fun foam in white and in orange to fill out the pieces of the toucan. So here I have my cut aparts that I blended out and I am sticking them towards the bottom of the tag. This is where I said you didn't really have to do that V part and I am arranging them. Some I am actually just oops, you know, uh, putting them down with some tape adhesive and then um, one of the flowers I end up popping up with some foam tape just to kind of give it some dimension to the card. And I do the same with the uh, toucan. I keep wanting to call it a parrot. The toucan, I add some uh, foam adhesive. Then I grab the brown um, ribbon that came in the kit and I just kind of loop it through the tag here and then I want it to kind of hang towards the left side so I add a little bit of tape adhesive to hold it in place. Now I'm grabbing this punch and I am just rounding out the edges of this card. So here are the images for the finished card. Card number two. So this one was a little bit of a fun project. Um, so right off the rip here, I add that cheetah bluish pattern and I round out the edges. Now I had a difficult time um, trying to figure out how to best utilize this furry ribbon or uh, I forgot what it's called, but this furry thing. And um, so I decided I would make a purse. So I added foam to the zebra print and then I added some foam down directly to the card. And on the zebra part, I decided to distress the edges a little bit just to give it some dimension um, as if it was pulling away from the bottom there. So I did it with some gathered twigs and then I did use an archival black ink to, on top of that. So just to create a shadow effect. Next, I use my own dye. Um, this die came when I purchased my sidekick. It was part of the starter kit. So I came with an assortment of uh, little dies that you could use with your sidekick. And so I used that one to create the clasp to open the purse. And then using the die, uh, small die cut frame that came in last month's kit, 
um, I use that and cut it in half and use it towards the top there to create like little clasps that would hold the handle of the purse. So this is a purse card and in the inside I stamped Wild About You and added the cheetah print to the inside to carry the theme throughout this card. This was so fun. It was really, I was really uh, impressed with the results. Card number three. So here I am showing you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the yellow card base, um, and some white cardstock paper here, and a couple pattern papers. So I'm going to start off by buffing out some squeeze lemonade distress oxide and buffing it out with my brush. Now a little tip here is if you want the color to be more vibrant, just um, push down that metal uh, thing that comes in. Uh, attached to the brush and you if you push it down it'll um, grab more color and it'll be more vibrant versus if you just use the full uh, bristles. So here um, I showed you the measurements of this paper that I'm working with so if you want to recreate it you can. So basically the pattern that you want to show have it facing outwards like I am now. I want the uh, Hawaiian floral pattern to be out. So then I'm going to fold that, the flaps towards the middle and create the seam in the middle. And then towards the top I'm going to flip that back and then kind of wiggle it to give me some wiggle room to create the collar there. Then I'm just going to flip up the bottom part and that creates a shirt. But before I finish it off, because I do want to add some sleeves, I'm going to round out the bottom edges. Then once I round that off, I am going to um, flip the back side to a corner, so corner to corner, flip it out so it, it creates some sleeves. So when I put it back up to the collar, it looks like there's sleeves on this shirt. So to embellish this shirt a little bit more, you can leave it as is, but I wanted to actually make it shirt, uh, let make it look like it's an actual shirt. So I um, grabbed some strips to make it look like the inside of the shirt was coming out. And then um, added some buttons using some pearl adhesive dots. And I did the same technique with the sleeves. <clears throat> I apologize, I have a sore throat. So uh, it makes my voice feel a little raspy or sound a little raspy, sorry. So I adhere those two shirts onto the card and then I did stamp for you towards the bottom and then went crazy with those uh, nouveau drops. So um, I did went ahead and add the palm tree ribbon towards the inside of the card. So those cards are so fun. They could be for early retirement, vacation. You know, it's just that sentiment for you just opens it up for, you know, any possibilities and you can write your own sentiment on the inside. So here I'm working with the next card here and I'm using um, three different uh, papers on my own stash. This is kind of like a melon color, a pink pastel color and a mint green pastel color. And I am, I showed you the colors that I used for the inks that I used to stamp the images. Um, and so I cut those out, but now I'm working on the white card base here and I'm using all of those gold peel off, um, stickers and I cut out the excess. So I created this background, um, and pattern, uh, with these gold peel offs. Next I grab my circle die and I made a circle there. And I fussy cut all the leaves and flowers that I had previously stamped. I did no coloring. I wanted the paper to kind of just be organic there. And then I arranged them towards the right side of the circle, leaving a little bit out, peeking out of that arrangement. Next, I used that same die and I went ahead and cut it out some uh, foam so that I could stick that to the back and have it pop off for some dimension. So before I stuck the frame I did um, stamp for you and then added the frame on top with just some regular glue. 
And to um, create the frame, I did use that gold mirrored specialty paper that came from the kit. And this, I think, was one of my favorites because it was simple, but it was very interesting and appealing to the eye. Um, so it was definitely one of my favorites. So card number five, I'm using the smoked um, gray cardstock here for my card base. Now you can skip this step. Um, I didn't realize what the technique was going to look like till afterwards, um, but definitely you can just uh, run your white ink pad along and you don't have to do the stenciling that I did. So it's just so that the colors that you will stamp on actually come through and uh, are true to color. And then I went ahead and I used some of that black specialty paper from last month with this ribbon and an embossed Wild About You in the gold embossing powder from the kit. And then to create these two cans, I used my own pastel pink uh, paper and then just kind of created a variety of pattern um, throughout the card there and then cut off the excess. Next card, this card was actually kind of an experiment, but I went along with it. So I wanted to create a A2 um, or a regular size standard card using a pop-up box or creating a pop-up box. So what I did was I uh, left maybe like half of an inch from each side, um, creating a, a, from the square base. And then I just cut off that and the leftover flaps would be what would connect each side, if that makes sense. So because I don't have a big die cut machine, I couldn't use a box pop-up die cut uh, frame thing. <laughs> and so um, here you see me um, actually assembled already and put all the pattern paper um, around this box. So I used a variety of papers, which I did show. And then I wanted to kind of leave the top and inside green so it looks like tropical, jungle, Hawaiian theme there. And then I grabbed these um, uh, toothpicks and you can use whatever type of um, pop-up uh, things that you want. You can use popsicle sticks um, or you can actually color them instead of leaving them in their wood color. And so I used the pattern paper to kind of help them seal and pop up. And then I used that um, leafy ribbon and some of that sequence to create kind of a background, like a jungle background. And then I also um, used the um, pipe cleaner to pop up the parrots in the box. Here I'm just grabbing some of that white paper and then doing some second and third stamping secondhand um, stamping with that border uh, stamp and then did stamp Wild About You in the Library Green Archival ink. And then I did round off the edges to each side of the top part of this card. And then I used the gold ribbon here towards the bottom of my sentiment. And then one of the um, cut aparts here of the flower that I had from the previous flower that I did not use, I ended up using it on the flap here. So here I'm showing you that you can fold it and um, on that seam right there where you're seeing that red one, I did put some white ribbon there that didn't make it to the video. But as you can see, it fits a regular um, standard envelope and it opens up just nicely. So I tested it and tested it to see if anything would um, stick to each other and it didn't. So this is the final result. And the parrots are from the uh, pa pattern paper that came in the kit. So card number seven, I am using this white paper that will be my panel. And I am using the Nouveau uh, sample glitter, green glitter paste. So I was quite lazy while doing this technique and did not bother to um, put paper so that I, it wouldn't transfer to the other side of the paper that was not the stencil. And so I just grabbed a spatula, you can grab a butter knife if you don't have a spatula, and just kind of wait a little bit so it's not as gluey, and then you can just scrape it off. 
it's pretty forgiving. So next I am grabbing a couple of Distress Oxide inks and stamping, doing some first, second, and third uh, hand stamping here to kind of create some, the illusion that there is some dimension here, that there is depth uh, from um, close up and far away. And then I go back in with my stencil and stencil a couple more of these um, banana uh, leaves. And as you can see here, I did have some of mishaps where um, the glitter did go off the stencil here. But if you wait a little bit, like I said, you can just scrape it off. So here's the finished product of that panel. Next, I'm going to grab the striped green ribbon here and adhering it towards more the, um, not half of the card, but more towards the top part of that of the card. Did I say hat? I thought I said hat. Card. <laughs> so here um, I'm grabbing another of these toucans and it, the toucan is done the same way I did um, in the previous card. And I'm grabbing that really fine green, green um, string uh, or yeah it's string I wouldn't call that a ribbon. And I am looping it and then adhering it towards the center, looping it adhering it towards the center and just doing that until I am finished with the string so it looks like a like a nice little nesty green thing coming from the back of this toucan and I add some foam tape and pop that up on the card and then next I grab the sentiment I'll always believe in you and use some library green archival ink to do so and then I round off the edges of this card and add a couple sequins in the ivory white and in the green. And then on the inside I just um, use some white paper and I'm doing the same technique as I did to the, pan the front panel and doing some second, first, second and third hand stamping and then added another paper. So I created a pattern paper of my own. And then that way um, it looks like a nice border of banana leaves and still you have room to add your uh, wording or your message to the recipient. This card was a challenge. So I wanted to do something fun, organic, and coastal. And my um, Farber Castell cement, um, what is it like paste kind of dried up so I was trying to add some water and use that up but anyways um, so here I'm grabbing some um, Strathmore uh, watercolor paper and I had used the stencil to draw out the images and then I used the distress inks that I had mentioned before which are listed in the previous um, in some of the earlier cards and then I used that same frame um, die and used the blue part of the pattern, one of the pattern papers and did four frames and popped them up with some foam, fun foam. And then I made an arrangement with the leaves after I've colored them and everything. And then add one of the wooden tabs along with the white ribbon and used for you sentiment. I did paint the tag white so this is the finished card so mm, card number nine I am using all these items to create this card and I stuck down that um, gold black I don't know what greeny color a specialty paper along with the toucan um, pattern paper here and then I am gluing down the punch, punchinella, punchinella. <laughs> and um, so for this technique, um, you can use some tape adhesive, but I did not want to have sticky parts. So what I did is I lightly um, used just the tip of the glue to spread it out around the punchinella. And then when I glued it down, some glue did pop out. So all I did was wait a couple of seconds for it to be sticky. And then with a cloth, you lightly uh, damp it 
in some water and then kind of rub it off and it does come off and it doesn't leave any stickiness or any residue on the card. So next I uh, stamped this banana leaf with some coffee archival ink in um, the paper that I'm using is actually Strathmore 140 pound cold press watercolor paper and I'm using my Artisa brush pens and I am going they don't have any names so I can't give you any names but um, that's why I showed the colors um, so I'm using kind of like a moss green and then a nice jungle green and I am focusing on the inner parts and then light on the lighter on the outer and darker on the inner parts and I'm just doing that over and over till I am satisfied with the color effect and then I did use some antique linen um, around the edges towards more towards the inner part and then I did go in with some distress ink and gathered twigs around the banana leaf then I popped all that off to kind of like a side from that gold specialty paper and then I popped up the toucan with some foam tape and now I did have that banner die that I showed in a previous card and did the same technique that, as I did with a banana leaf but I embossed for you on there with the gold embossing powder that came in the kit and on the inside I did the same technique using the border so I used the archival ink coffee and then I distressed it using the same technique and I just thought it tied everything together so card number 10 I am using the yellow card base now once I got to this card I changed my mind so many different ways as to how I wanted this card to go and I really like the end result so what I'm doing here is I am embossing straight onto the card base and then I'm using my Prisma pencil colors. This is the pack that I'm using, the 36 Prisma color ones. And I am just using different tropical colors that I thought meshed well together. And I'm not coloring the entire image because the tag that I'm going to be using is going to cover some of it up. So then I used the next tag and I kind of did the same technique as I did with the very first card. The only difference is I did a lighter hand on this. And then I used some of the archival ink fuchsia and I did some second and third stamping with the floral stamps in the kit or on the stamp set. And then I did the same technique with these two cans as I did with prior uh, cards. And there's a difference. I did a second toucan to face the opposite side. So when you do that, there are the the um the image will have a like a line because it's the opposite side. So all I did to kind of mask that was I um you can use a bone folder or you can use some type of um, I don't know some tool that will give you that same result is kind of varnish the lines to kind of go down and so you can't tell that this is the back side of the die and then next um, after I uh, pop these two cans I didn't pop them up I'm sorry I just glued them down to the tag because I did pop up the tag so I didn't want too much dimension I did um, stamp wild about you on some white paper and distressed it a bit and then with some black um, pen I drew some lines kind of like a scrapbooky style and then I did use some of those wood flower veneers that came in the kit and I kind of embellished them with the strawberry nouveau uh, drops and then I used some green sequins um, around the card so these are the images for this card and I really liked it. I thought it was really cute. And I did add the uh, our, uh, the brown ribbon onto this. So these are all the things that um, I used, all the Distress Oxides that did not come in the kit, the punch, my Sidekick die cut machine, my Tacky Glue, the pearls, my stamping platform, my paper cutter, and various acrylic blocks, my Arteza brush pens, my watercolor brush, these two die cuts, and these are all the uh, stash builders that are in the kit that I could still use with various other projects.
So I still have some of those peel offs left over that I could use and then these gold leaves which I completely forgot about them so I did not use them but I still have one more wood. I still have a various put, put, cut apart of these uh, ribbons that I did not completely use. And then as for paper, I still have three little bit of these specialty paper and two full size pattern paper that I didn't use and a little bit of that punchinella. Everything else was used up and I had so much fun. Hopefully you got inspired. And as of the making of this, video the may 2018 card kit is still available you can go to lovefromlizzie.com and grab yours and see what you can come up with Bye bye